What is good, everybody? It's Spill here, back with another brand new NBA 2K Lab video, man. And this one here is pretty crucial. With jump shot speeds being much faster than they were in 21, we headed over to the jump shot creator to check out the release speeds and their respective green windows. Needless to say, very fast shots are back on the menu this year. So if you guys are new to the channel, we do these types of tests all the time, we do in-depth badge testing. So if you're new to the channel, man, be sure to subscribe and let's get right into that video. For starters, this test was done on current and next gen, and we tested every single green window for each release speed for the same jumper, while the only variable that changed was the shot speed. Now, everyone who's played 2K knows that faster shot speeds gives a huge advantage on the virtual court and even in real life. But being able to get shots up quicker, especially with a defender closing out, will undoubtedly increase your chances of a make. Now, even just a difference of 20 milliseconds can be the difference between an open shot or a lightly contested one. Defenders won't be able to contest this quickly, which will give you more open shots and lower percentage contest. Now looking at the chart, you can see the very quick option speeds up your shot by about 30 to 35 milliseconds over the quick option. Now this is a huge deal when every millisecond counts like I mentioned before. And one thing to note is that if you do end up picking the very quick option max speed, your green window will shrink by about 5 milliseconds. But with how easy shooting is this year and how big the green windows are, it really shouldn't be a big deal at all. The slower shots like normal, slow, and very slow don't provide any benefit unlike in current gen 21 where slower shot speeds actually gave a higher make percentage on average, while the very quick option saw nearly a 25% decrease in makes from the normal speeds. Now again, that was on 2K21 current gen. Now for guards who can get the very quick option, we absolutely recommend to use it and get used to the timing because it is extremely beneficial. Now if you're a player that just tends to spot up, we still recommend very quick, but I guess you can make an argument for quick if you only shoot when you're wide open. If your player doesn't unlock the very quick option, then using quick is of course the next best thing. Now the results for current and next gen were pretty much identical, so this information goes for both gens. Now that's all for shot speed. If this video happened to help you, a simple like would be appreciated. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Later.